So we're good? Yes. Ja, man, rasta. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> All right. Um, welcome to ATD for the week of September 28th, 2012. That's the week, right? <laughs> Fucking I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry. Right. That's the week. All right. So Andrew couldn't be here today. He has personal business. So we have a um, special guest for you today. It's a girl. <laughs> oh, it sounds so bad. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life right now. <laughs> Game releases of this week. We had Angry Birds Trilogy, which is Angry Birds, Angry Birds Seasons, and Angry Birds Rio, with more content for all you uh, console owners. I think it's just 360. I'm not quite sure on that. Honestly, I didn't really care to pick it up. I can pick it up for my iPhone for about $1.99, or I could get it for the console for $40. I'm pretty sure the extra content's not all that much, but it does have achievements, which is fun. Next we have Testament to Sherlock Holmes. Testicles I'm sorry, Testament, Holmes? Testament of Sherlock Holmes, not testicles two. Testicles of Sherlock Holmes? Yes, the testicles of Sherlock Holmes. No, the Robert Downey one, not the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> we have ABC's Wipe Out 3. I love that show. It's like people getting hit in the face for two an hour straight. With Sherlock Holmes' testicles. Yes, with Sherlock Holmes' testicles. <laughs> Speaking of balls, we have, we have Pro Evolution Soccer 2013, FIFA Soccer 2013. Balls, the best balls. thing anybody could ever have. On the PC front, I'm not sure if you guys heard this, a small game, uh, small expansion to a game came out, a little MMO, had a photo of it. World of Warcraft, Mist of Pandaria. You no, know, they have pandas in the game now. I can't wait to see all the Jack Flack Kung, Kung Fu Panda advertisement they're going to have. Jack Flack? Jack Flack. You know Kung Fu Panda? No. I You've never seen Jack Kung Flack. Fu? Who's Jack Flack? I <laughs> don't fucking find him. He's the one that said it. First flat, not text. I mean, testicles. <laughs> <laughs> texticles. Texticles. <laughs> texticles. <laughs> also on the PC front, we have Castle Crushers coming to the PC. So now all you um, game own, I mean, people who wanted to experience Castle Crashers, you know, four years ago but didn't do it because you didn't have a console, you can now experience the fun with all of us. But not really, because no one's playing that game anymore. Except for me! <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> we also have the, the ATG's Game of the Week, Dead or Alive 5, with a review coming soon. You know, we, should, we should put a sound bite of Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi on that. Dead or Alive for Bon Jovi? Dead or Alive. On the um, downloadable content front, we have Marvel vs. Capcom original for the Xbox Live Arcade and PSN, I believe. I'm not sure about PSN. We also have DLC for The Amazing Spider-Man, where it gets you to play as Stan Lee. Sure, there are other names like Rhino and Lizard and Everett. Stan Lee's the one driving that content. Who I didn't care about um, Rhino. Oh, that's it for Games Week, and get on with the news. In gaming news, Star Wars 1313 changed its date back to be announced. Seems like the rumored release date last week was just a rumor. I just want to confirm, last week we did say it was a rumor. Uh, the first Black Ops will now be available to run on Mac through Steam. In other news... <laughs> in ugly news... In other news, earlier this week, it was confirmed that the Nintendo Wii U will be region locked. That means you can only play the Wii U games that you've bought in the region, that you can play them in... You can... <laughs> Fuck. In other news... <laughs> In other news, earlier this week it was confirmed that Nintendo. N n I can't say this! I can't say that! Just keep going. In other news, vagina, vagina, vagina. <laughs> earlier this week it was confirmed that the Nintendo Wii U would be Weijin we locked. Oh my Weijin god! Lock. It'll be Weijin locked? That's what it's gonna be? <laughs> it's gonna be Weijin locked. In other news, earlier this week it was confirmed that the Nintendo Wii U would be region locked. That means you can only play the Wii U games in the region you bought them. You can't buy a game, say, in Japan, and then play it in America, or vice versa. 
The standalone version of Arma 2's mod DayZ will launch before the end of the year, most likely in December, said the creator Dean Hall at the Eurogamer Expo. So, DayZ should be an alpha. What's that mean? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. So, DayZ should be an alpha later this year. That's it for the news. Usually at the end of ATGs, we're going to be trying to have um, reviews of the game of the week, but sadly this week we cannot have a review of Dead or Alive 5 because of some technical give Fuck. <laughs> fuck me sideways. <laughs> because of te fucking technical. hell. Technical. He <laughs> means technical. <laughs> because some technical difficulties that we were having adding the review to the episode. So we're going to be trying to have that review later this week or next week sometime. It will, we will let you know when it's going to be up. But if you want a general gist of the review, which I've already written, the game is to risk it. It's just that. You like fighters. That's good. Story-wise, it ain't there. Just letting you know. So that was ATG. We'll be soon, sure to see you next week.